Hi boys and girls, so today we are going to continue our poem that we work, or not our poem, I'm sorry, our play that we worked on in small group on Monday and Tuesday, or Tuesday and Wednesday. So if you did not join me for your live small group conference on Tuesday or Wednesday, you're going to need to go back and complete page 230 and 231 in order to complete this. This is why it is so important that you join me for live conference because we build on our lessons during the week. All right, so today we're going to keep looking at our story, Danger in Deep Space. We read scenes one and two together and talked all about them. And today we are going to um, look at scene three. So let's get ready to look here at scene three. Scene three is now telling us that we are going to be back on the deck of a, of the spaceship. So here we are. Dr. Blurg is at the spaceship's control. All six arms are working at once. So here is our setting for scene three. And our characters, again, who are speaking, our actors are going to be Dr. Blurg and Sam. It says, my plan is working perfectly. I'll dump Lila and her helpless robot on some safe planet. Then I will return to my own planet with the medicine. I'll be a hero. Here is the stage directions. Sam's coming in. Then Lila appears, making impossible leap through the air and lands next to Dr. Blurg. Woo, there she goes. Sam says, I think there's been a change of plans, Dr. Blurg. <gasps> but this is impossible. Looking at Lila. My secret sleeping gas should have put you to sleep for at least 24 Earth hours. Shh. <sighs> she jumps in the air and shucks. And you, robot, I cut your power supply. How? Things are not what they seem, Dr. Blur. Sam takes off his head, which is more like a space helmet. You see, you've got things backwards. I'm the human, and Lila, she's the most amazing machine in space. Why, she's hardly more than a girl. I'll take care of her. He goes after Lila, who grabs Dr. Blurg, lifts him overhead with one hand and shouts, You tricked me! The spies we have on your planet told us that you might try something like this. We were ready for you. But my poor planet, we won't survive without your special medicine. If you're willing to make peace, we will get medicine to your people. Now, let's take this ship to your planet moored. She sets him down and brushes him off. All right, so you saw some stage directions in here. We had dialogue going back and forth. Oh, my goodness, the story, did it end? Did the play end like you thought? I don't know. All right, so we've already read, like I said, scene one and scene two of Lila and Sam. And the remember, the gas did not work. Oh, my gosh, she sprayed it on. She fell on the floor. Obviously, it didn't work. She was awake. So let's look at some types of questions that might be shown when you take your test. So here we, oh, 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 look what I noticed. Part A, part B. We know these part A, part Bs. How do the events in scene three build on the events from scene two, danger in deep space? All right, so we want to know how is this scene increasing the story details from what we've already read? What is changing and getting better? So I'm going to underline how do the events, and I'm focusing on scene three, change from scene two. So we're going to read our choices. You're going to mark the one that you think is correct as I read. Remember, you're going to put your check or your X at the period, and then I'll give you the right answer. A says, scene two, so that's previously on the previous page, shows that Lila and Sam are afraid of Dr. Blurg. But here on scene three, which is today, shows them finding the courage to fight back. If you think that's the correct answer, you're going to put a check mark. If not, put an X. Scene two shows that Lila and Sam were not prepared for a problem 
and scene three shows the result of that mistake. So if today's lesson shows the result of their mistake, you're going to put a check. If not, put an X. C says, scene two describes the plan Lila and Sam have ready, and scene three shows them putting the plan into action. So think about, did we read about a plan, and are they putting that plan into action? Put a check if you think it's right, and an X if you think it's wrong. The last answer, D says, scene two makes it seem that Dr. Blurg has overcome Lila and Sam. But in scene three, it shows that they actually tricked him. So if that's what happened in scene three, put your check. And the correct answer is D. D. A is not correct because Sam and Lila were worried, but they were not ever afraid. They were not afraid. B was not the correct answer because scene, in scene two, Sam says, let's hope our plan works. That means they were prepared. This one, it said they were not prepared. And C, or C is not correct because there's no plan that's described until scene three. We didn't even know what their plan was until we got to scene three, not in scene two. So you should have circled D as your correct answer. Now, part B asks, which two details from the play best support your answer here? So now that we figured out our answer in A, which of these supports our answer? Let's work our way through these. A says, Lila and Sam slowly enter the cargo bay of the spaceship. Scene two. Do these help me connect that the two scenes about him overcoming Lila, but really they did? No, that one does not. B says, if there's trouble, let's hope our plan works. Well, we don't really know their whole plan in scene two, so that's not really connecting them either. All right, C says, Dr. Blurg sprays a green smoke toward Lila who falls to the floor. Well, that has where he thinks she overcame her. So I'm going to say, yes, that connects the scenes because in scene two, he thought that he overcame Lila. Then I will return on my own planet with the medicine. Well, that doesn't really have anything to do with him overcoming and them tricking. That was just a detail. E says, the spies we have on your planet told us that you might try something like this. Remember, they knew in advance that this might actually happen and they tricked him. So this could be my other choice. F says, if you're really, if you're willing to make peace, we will get medicine to your people. Well, that didn't really show any connection at all. So my two choices that helped me understand my connection were when he sprayed the green smoke and then them saying, we knew this was going to happen already. Good. Now today you're going to continue to work on reading your Charlie play and answering questions like this.